and recognized that Muhammad, this individual, who was trustworthy and truthful prior to him claiming to be a messenger, would not now come and lie against Allah. And so brothers and sisters, that likewise was something that was experienced and recognized by the tribes that were present in Medina. From the mission of the Messenger Muhammad wasallam was that our Messenger Muhammad, during certain periods of time, and during certain festivities and certain seasons, he would call those who were not from the people of Mecca to his message. On an occasion, brothers and sisters, the Messenger Muhammad, during the period of a pilgrimage that would uh, be, or that the uh, people would uh, embark upon, the uh, non-Muslim Arab and the uh, pagans who were present at that time, they would make a pilgrimage to Mecca. So the Arabs who were around the Arabian Peninsula, they would make a pilgrimage to Mecca in order uh, to uh, carry out the rites of that pilgrimage that they uh, still believed in. And so the Messenger Muhammad would meet groups of them in a valley known as the Valley of Aqaba. On an occasion, he met a group from among the people of Al Madina. And they were somewhere in the region of seven in number. From them, that great companion of the Messenger of Allah, Jabir ibn Abdullah. And there were others, Uqba ibn Amir, and others. And the Messenger brought to them his message and called them to Al Islam. Called them to bearing witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah. And recognizing that he was truly the messenger of Allah. Upon hearing his message, and hearing his exhortation, they said to him and responded to him by saying, that truly we know that you are the messenger of Allah. And so the messenger was surprised with the quickness in which they accepted the message. And so he said and, and asked them concerning that. And so they went into detail explaining why. He said that with, they said that with us in Medina, we have tribes from among the tribes of the Jews. From them we have the likes of Bani Quraiba, the children of Quraiba, or the, which was the name of the tribe. We have Banu Qaynuqa, we have Banu Nadir. And we have been in war and at war with them for many years. From the things that they constantly say to us, is that Allah the Most High is soon to send to this region, to us, the Jews, a messenger from among our brethren and those who follow our lineage. He's soon to send to us a messenger. And it was for that reason that the Jews that were present in uh, the area of uh, Palestine and elsewhere, that they moved on more than one occasion to the region of Medina. They moved to that region awaiting the coming of a messenger. Because their scriptures and their books and their uh, uh, men of knowledge informed of the fact that the next and final messenger that is going to be sent will be sent to that region. A region that was described as being surrounded by date palm trees. A region that was mentioned in detail in their books and in the revelation that they had received. And so they moved to that region, they migrated to that region on three occasions historically. Somewhere in the, re somewhere in the region of 538 BC, somewhere in the region of the year 30 uh, uh, after uh, Christ, or after uh, the ascent of Isa ibn Maryam, Jesus, and somewhere in the region of the, of the year 130 after the ascent of Isa after the ascent of Jesus. So they moved to that region awaiting the coming of a messenger. A messenger that their scriptures informed them of. A messenger that their scriptures mentioned and described in detail how he would be, how he, uh, his characteristics would be, and even how his companions would be. And they uh, moved to that region awaiting him uh, being sent. And so they would say to the people of Medina when they would fight against them in those civil wars that they would have, they mentioned to them that indeed we are soon to be sent a messenger. And when he comes, 
then our Lord is going to give us aid and victory over you. And we are going to fight behind him. And so when the Messenger Muhammad Wasallam called them to Allah, called them to the message, they recognized that this indeed was the Messenger that they were informed of. And so Allah mentions in the Quran, after they received and after they knew and learnt of the coming of that messenger, that they moved to that region awaiting when they recognized that he was not from the offsprings of Ishaq, of Isaac, as was the rest of the prophets and the messengers, Dawood, Solomon, and so on. When they recognized that he in actuality was from among the Arab, who were from the offsprings of Ismail, and not from the offsprings of Isaac, they rejected him. Out of bigotry, and out of uh, 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 not being, or not wanting to follow anyone other than those who uh, were from among their people. Though they knew of him, and though they recognized without doubt that he was truly the messenger of Allah. And so Allah Azza wa mentioned those who we gave the book. يَعْرِفُونَهُ كَمَا يَعْرِفُونَ أَبْنَاءَهُمْ Indeed they know him just as they know their own sons. And likewise Allah mentions in the Quran concerning those who rejected the message فَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ مَا عَرَفُوا كَفَرُوا بِي So when they came to him or when they came to them that which they were well acquainted with naturally because of that which was present within their scripture كَفَرُوا بِي then they rejected him and they disbelieved in him. Uh, and thus was the case, brothers and sisters, 